I'm going out in the rain. Um, it's uh, storming right now. It's really windy. It's cold. Um, and our mail gets here late. So um, I'm going out to the mailbox because I was expecting a delivery of seeds to get here today. So I'm going to go get my seeds. Oh my gosh, it's so windy. I feel like I'm going to blow away. Oh, my precious. So I am back inside where it's nice, warm and dry. Um, I've got my seeds, I've got my cat Eleanor here. She's interested in something next to me. Um, but I got these seeds and I ordered them from Pine Tree Seeds. I am not affiliated with them. They did not pay me to make this video. Um, I had just heard about this company from a friend and I had never bought seeds from them before and I wanted to give them a try. Um, I also ordered from them because when I was looking at their website, they had a lot of things that I've been looking for for a really long time. And they also had some interesting things that I never really like, thought to get seeds of. So um, I put in a decent sized order. So I will show you what I got. Eleanor's checking out my orchid behind me. <laughs> and orchids are pet safe. So she's good, we're good. All right. Okay, so the first one that I have in my hand here is the Cups and Saucers Mix Cosmos. I really wanted these and this was really, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even though orchids are pet safe, as I said, um, she was trying to chomp on my orchid and I still didn't want her to do that. Um, so I have um, first up the Cups and Saucers Mix Cosmos. I was really excited to get these. I have been looking for these seeds everywhere. I couldn't find a reputable company or they were sold out everywhere or they were like, it was like $8 for a pack of 10 seeds. So it just kind of seemed a little ridiculous to me. But they're Cosmos, but they kind of look like cupcake wrappers almost. Um, I also believe that it is called like the Cupcake Cosmos, um, but Pine Tree Garden Seeds calls it Cups and Saucers Mix, but I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Then I got two different kinds of flowering kale. Um, I got the Sunset and the Sunrise. They're two different colors, but they're basically the same thing. But it's just like a brassica that grows straight up and they look like roses. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, next up is the Pro Cut Plum Sunflower, just kind of like a nice different color of sunflower. Pretty excited for that. Fruit Punch Poppy, um, it just looked like a really nice different variety um, color of poppy that I don't already have. Then I got this ornamental grass, it's called Twister Grass. Maybe it's Juncus or Juncus spelled J-U-N-C-U-S. Um, but yeah, it's perennial grass and it grows like in a little twist. It's pretty cool. What's next? Uh, Cypress Climber. Um, this has nice red flowers and I got this because I am building a privacy screen um, because my art, the houses here are pretty close together and there is um, a neighbor that put in a giant trampoline and it's just an eyesore. And also when the kid is jumping on it, like they can see inside my backyard and I kind of like my privacy. So I got a fake plant privacy screen and I'm going to grow these and weave it in. <laughs> Eleanor does not care that I'm trying to record here. That's fine. Um, <laughs> all right, I guess she's gonna help us talk about the rest of the seeds. She's here for the seed haul. Um, but anyways, I just thought that maybe I would grow real flowers and then kind of weave them into the fake plant, um, the fake plant, um, <laughs> panel that I have for my privacy screen. Then I got Mirabilis, Mirabilis, um, again, I cannot pronounce things very well, um, especially when so many people pronounce things differently. Um, it's kind of hard to know what the proper pronunciation is, but um, the variety is called Stars and Stripes. And it just looked like a really cool flower, um, like hot pink, neon yellow, just 
very bright and pretty. And I got elephant head amaranth. <laughs> I got this because when I was scrolling on the website, it just looked like a giant middle finger. And I just thought it would just be hilarious. I'm immature. Um, I will grow all the immature plants. And then I got comfrey. Um, this is just a really great multi-purpose plant. You can make fertilizer out of it. You can use it kind of like as a compost activator. It's just something that I feel every gardener should have. Um, now I've got Arnica. Um, just, I wanted some more medicinal seeds and I have this herbal infuser. And so I figured I could make my own salves and things like that. Um, I also got St. John's wort. I had been wanting to try growing that for a little bit. I got henna. I did not even realize that there were henna seeds. I mean, it's a plant, so I guess it makes sense, but I just never, it just never crossed my mind um, to buy henna seeds, but I want to make my own dye. Um, I think it'd be really cool. So this is just kind of a fun thing that I added to my order. Strawberry blonde sunflower. I love sunflowers. And so obviously it's kind of pinkish, yellowish um, colors on this sunflower. So excited to have that. Rhubarb. I have bought and killed so many different rhubarb, like bare roots that I've picked up from nurseries. And for some reason, I just don't have luck with them. And maybe I really am just doing something wrong, but I figured maybe trying it from seed might be better. So we're going to try it from seed and we're going to see how it goes. Then I got more Cosmos. This is double click cranberries. This is kind of like a nice burgundy color and it's like a double Cosmo. So really excited for that. And then last is Nigella, the Delft Blue um, variety. I just got these because they're really pretty. So I'm really excited to try all of these. Did I need more seeds? No, but I have these. So I'm going to get them planted here in the next couple of days.